Hey everyone. everyone, I'm Jess and I'm Stephen and we have written a children's book, Our Home on Wheels. So this little children's book is inspired by our real life adventures. So back in 2021, our little family, so myself, Jess and little Hunter, we self-converted a van and drove all around Australia and we had so many amazing memories and moments and we wanted to take these, put it into a book to inspire other kids out there to go on their own adventures. And that book, Our Home on Wheels, is out now. So we first decided to write a picture book about our travels. It sounds so cliche, but when we became parents. Uh, so whilst we were traveling around in this van, we were looking for picture books, children's books, to read to our little hunter who was so small at the time. And we just couldn't find any. So we were like, hey, why don't we write a little picture book based on our travels so that we could turn this into this little book and we could read that to Little Hunter. I feel like the best part about creating a book for kids is being able to write a story about travel but through the eyes of a child. And just the pivotal moment on this whole process was the first time we unboxed our personal copy of the book and we read it to Hunter and just seeing her eyes light up. She was so engaged in the book. I can't tell you how many times we've had to read this book now, but looking back on that moment, I think we'll always sit with us. So during our band trip around Australia, there were just so many places that we loved and it was so hard to just pick a few to put into the book, otherwise it would be a novel. <laughs> but thinking back, one of my personal favorite bits was when we went through the Northern Territory. It's just so Australian. Like when you think of just red dirt roads, crocodiles, and we went on this little boat tour where they drove us through and there were just crocodiles jumping in the air and just smashing down and Hunter just loved it. She was like, the crocodiles, they're so big. And I don't know, that personally just sits with me. Oh, and speaking of the Northern Territory, one of the most special spots as well was Uluru because that is where Hunter learned to walk. Oh, yes. Do you remember? Yeah, she so it was the sunset. <laughs> she was walking for the first time. That has to be probably the best, best moment of our trip. I feel like the most challenging part about writing the book was we wanted to make sure we featured one pivotal place from each state and trying to discuss which spot that should be was really hard. We would fight about it constantly. <laughs> <laughs> and I think like the, in the end, we just decided, was there a personal memory or a moment attached to it rather it, right. than it just being a beautiful place. Yeah, or an iconic spot. It's like, what was iconic to us and our personal family trip? Yeah, and we hope that's gone through the book. I think a little bit of advice we have for aspiring travel writers, bloggers, or even potential authors is our biggest advice is just start doing it. I think for us, a lot of it was, it was a dream for so long. And one day we just quit our jobs and just started. <laughs> I'm not saying to quit your no, job. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just saying, I think there was just that moment where we just followed those dreams rather than keeping it a dream. Mm -hmm. and. You know, seven years ago when we started, when we decided to leave and start traveling to write and film our stories, um, it's crazy where that's led to. Like seven years ago, if someone in the future was like, you would be sitting right now in Penguin's office, <laughs> holding this book, talking about a book that we've published, I would say you're joking. So I think just, if you have that dream, sit down, put a plan and just try follow it as much as possible. I think that, that's worked for us and hopefully that's a little bit of advice for you. And anyone can do it.